Cloud migration is a long-term process and not an immediate one. The bigger the company, the longer the process will take and it can take years. To confuse matters, some assets may never be migrated for security or other reasons, so a complete migration will never happen. Thus, hybrid solutions are required. Services will be migrated from on-premise to the cloud over time and so they need to be integrated seamlessly with on-premise services. Confidentiality is an important requirement for a service used to connect to on-premise data centers with a virtual network of resources in Azure. Most of the time, the connection goes through public internet where it is susceptible to attack. VPN, or virtual private networking, allows reserved connections between nodes throughout the public internet. And that ensures communication is kept secret with encryption ensuring the communication parties are who they say they are and preventing man-in-the-middle attacks. VPNs are scalable solutions which can accomplish several goals. It is possible to connect to a cloud VPN from a single computer, to connect an on-premise network to a VPN, or to connect multiple virtual networks to each other. Point-to-site VPN technology is the easiest way to connect to remote virtual network through a public internet and we demonstrated this in the lab in one of the previous sessions. To do this all you have to do is install a software on the client PC that will connect with the VPN. So that software, in this case the VPN client, guarantees a secure encrypted connection to the cloud resources as if they were on the same physical network as the PC. Point-to-site VPN technology is a practical solution only when few users need to connect to the VPN. Typical scenarios would be remote administration or troubleshooting. Also, it's a good solution during development for remote workers or debugging sessions. It is not the best solution when the number of connections start increasing or when an entire network needs to reach the remote network. A remote point-to-point -point VPN gateway has limitations except more than a specific number of connections and can be difficult to manage as every connection has to be defined independently. That's when a site-to-site -site VPN comes in and this is a single private connection from an on-premise network to the remote virtual network over the public internet. This projects an entire on-premise LAN to the remote Azure virtual network. The single connection is shared among all the on-premise nodes across the remote endpoints. You would need a hardware appliance that can be used to build up a site-to-site -site VPN. And keep in mind that not all networking appliances like consumer routers would support site-to-site -site VPNs. So a network upgrade may be required. There is also a possibility of using software appliances installed on a server inside the LAN. For example, Windows Server has a routing service to connect the LAN to the VPN. Now, there can be issues with respect to quality and reliability of the public internet connection. In general, it is not possible to guarantee internet performance, especially if corporate demand increases. There are too many issues not under the company's control. So instead, you will use ExpressRoute. ExpressRoute is a private connection for an on-premise data center to Azure Data Center. It is a dedicated connection co-located in a third-party connection providers all around the world. Traffic does not travel in the public internet, but it is kept private to ensure reliability, faster speeds, lower latencies, and security. SLA is guaranteed by redundant connections to Microsoft Edge network. Different performance levels can guarantee from 50 Mbps to 10 Gbps throughout the network service provider or exchange provider. The key factor here is that the connection is not public and can reach high level of security and reliability. Performances are ensured by layer 2 or layer 3 Ethernet connections between on-premise network node and the Microsoft Cloud endpoints. Connectivity can be in any form. Express route is ideal for data storage access, backup, and disaster recovery. It is also preferred to connect to Office 365 or dynamic CRM services solutions. It is not a service useful or cost-effective for everyone. It can become convenient when you have frequent big data transfers on a daily basis. 
as Express Route is the most expensive solution for providing connections between on-premise data center and Azure, it should be analyzed well and tested. If site-to-site -site VPN connection is enough for the company, then you probably may just settle down with site-to-site -site VPN. There is a possibility of needing to create multiple virtual networks for security or for performance reasons. In any case, two virtual networks, even in the same data center, should be considered as two virtual networks that need to establish reliable communications through the public internet. In that case, we require that the two VPN gateways allow intra-region traffic among own virtual networks. That is a scenario for VNet to VNet VPN solutions. This ensures multi-region availability of cloud infrastructure. And there are many different scenarios for this, such as SQL Server always on high availability, or this can be useful for distributing geographically distributed partitions in NoSQL solutions deployed on virtual machines connected to different virtual networks. If you need to access virtual networks from multiple on-premise sites, such as when a company has multiple geographically distributed physical locations, then you need to share a connection to the same Azure virtual network. This network configuration is commonly known as hub and spoke topology. With this, we conclude this video and then we understood when to use a point to site, a site to site and an express route.